So far, so good. Now, how about entering some data into some of the other cells for our list? Fair enough. Now, let's imagine that we had to put in some values, perhaps. So for the year 2000, and on this particular Monday, for some reason, I'm going to type in a value, hit enter, and perhaps in another cell over here, I need one, two, two, enter, and perhaps over here. That's usually not the way we do it. More often than not, now I'm holding the shift key down, and by using my arrows, I've selected this whole area thus far, and I'll simply hit the delete key, and now everything's gone. And let's do it in a way that's a little bit more automated, a little bit more organized. For example, let's type a, an entry into this cell. Now let's say that the entry we wanted for Tuesday is 300. We're going to actually use autofill once again. Now the first time we did it, if you recall, we did it for the years straight across. The second time we did it, we did it holding down the right side of the mouse and we did the fill-in series. 